everybody a happy new year um i hope you guys had a good holiday season and a good new year we are starting off 2022 with a bang and something i'm not normally one to do and that's a video on how to make 2022 your best year yet i started watching a bunch of these kind of like it girl videos of how to manifest and get your life together and all those things and it might appear like i'm one of these girls who has their life together it's really easy to make it seem like that on youtube or even instagram i'm not one of these it girls but do you guys know what i mean by the it girl Let's see what urban dictionary calls an it girl Oh, it's that girl. Known mostly on TikTok, that girl is a girl or any gender that gets up at 5 a.m., meditates, drinks smoothies, has showers every day, journaling, eating only healthy food, goes to gym every day, and is successful in many ways. This stereotype is typically on TikTok and films morning or night routines. Most likely rich, too. So let's go through that. Gets up at 5 a.m. No. Meditates. No. Drinks smoothies. No. Has a shower every day. No. Journaling. No. Eating only healthy food. Absolutely not. Goes to the gym. Sometimes. Every day. No. Successful in many ways. I'm successful in many ways. I just don't think those things always mean success. I literally took notes on all these that girl videos of how to make 2022 the best year ever so the first thing that most of them talk about when we're going into 2022 is to set intentions and goals for the new year so this is my new 2022 journal and i already wrote some goals down because i was just feeling really inspired when you're writing your goals though oh my god if i read you guys my last year goals you would laugh laughable because none of them happened <laughs> And it was, it was like kind of sad to watch a lot of these girls read their last year goals and not only did they hit them, but they like overachieved. And I was like, what, why does that not happen when I write my goals down? And a lot of it was because I'm not writing them correctly, which I didn't know. So a lot of tips they give is set goals that trick yourself into making the bigger picture goals. I said you read one book a month and these next goals really fall into the idea of priming your environment. Kind of subconscious stuff. Prime your environment. Like put water bottles all over your room, fill them up, leave them everywhere around your house and every time you see it you just take a drink. To read one book a month I'm going to just keep my book out all the time. I never put it away and you're gonna end up reaching for the book more than you would if you had to like go in your closet and grab your book or take it out of a stack of books or something like that and it's just one book that you're leaving out and about. And then I said I wanted to start taking vitamins so I wanted to say thank you so much to Ritual for sponsoring this video. I've been keeping my little Ritual vitamins right on my my desk I sit at my desk every day to go on my computer and my ritual vitamins are right there with my water bottle that's always right here and it's definitely part of my 2022 goals to start taking these every day and I have been and I'm absolutely loving them so these are just a multivitamin from ritual you guys have probably seen them on Instagram and ads before I've I've seen them a million times and I'm always thinking about buying them priming if you guys didn't know I don't eat meat and honestly I just kind of eat like crap 24 7 and even if you do eat pretty healthy there's always gaps in your diet and these little vitamins can quickly patch up those nutrient gaps no matter your age dietary preferences or lifestyle and ritual it literally plays right into the look of these vitamins how they're see-through they are super transparent with everything they're putting in these vitamins they let you know every step they take into getting these ingredients and choosing the ingredients they do for you I've been looking for a multivitamin to take for a really long time now and I feel totally confident taking Ritual every day. I'm super excited that they asked to sponsor this video because I really wanted to share them with you guys. And if you guys want 10% off your first three months of Ritual, you can use this code or click the link in the description box. And thank you again to Ritual for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check them out. I used to write I want 100,000 subscribers. I want 200,000 subscribers. And those are really my only like numerical goals. And then also money. 
I would say exactly what I wanted to make that, that year. I don't care anymore about the specifics of that, but I still want to like continue to grow. For goals that kind of trick myself into having this like bigger, broader goal, I said I wanted to post two videos a week for all of 2022. And then I said I wanted to have my videos filmed a week before posting. And this is just so I have more time to get all the links for you guys, edit them in a way I want, not being rushed. I'll be able to put more time and effort into my videos if I have them pre-recorded. And then I said I wanted to post an Instagram reel or a TikTok once a week. And I said I wanted to start vlogging and liking it. But all of those goals, if I'm doing them and achieving them little by little, I will obviously grow on YouTube and get more brand deals and make more money. But I don't feel the need to write, by 2023, I wanna have 300,000 subscribers because I honestly do not care. And it's so weird because even last year, my whole entire goals, or a lot of them were, you are gonna work with Aritzia and you're gonna work with The Real Real. I think those are my top two that I really wanted to work with brands and neither of them happened and I don't care that they happened <laughs> or that they didn't happen. Um, I really don't care about, I mean like I, I do care about what brands I work with but that's not really what motivates me to post on YouTube. Um, it's more for myself, I wanna have videos I'm proud of and that I enjoy making. Okay, the next step, my desk is a mess. The next step, a lot of these girls were talking about are vision boards. So they all went on Pinterest and I already did this because I thought it'd be boring for you guys to watch. Everyone's vision board should be completely different. Look through your goals and pick out photos that remind you of what you want to achieve that year. So I made a little private Pinterest board called 2022 vision board, wow. So I said I wanted to journal more, so I did some little like photos of journals. I said I wanted to cook more kitchen, just eating more whole foods. I did some photos of like fruit and whatever, drinking more water, a photo of water, video camcorder, cause I want to film more books. I have some goals about my studio, about where I want to live. I just want to have a more simple life. So that's what my kind of entire vision was. The next thing is that when you do these vision boards, you're supposed to change your background on your computer or your phone. And you guys, I'm a little bit crazy because I was getting ready to change my like desktop background to this little vision board that I ended up making just on um, PicMonkey. This board looked too chaotic and I remembered that all of these photos mean something to me. So I was like looking at like, I put a photo of Premiere Pro on there because I want to like edit my videos better um, in the upcoming year. Looking at it stressed me out thinking I had to film a video and then looking at the book stressed me out because I wasn't reading. And and it kind of made me more anxious. Okay, I could get used to it. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. But also I feel weird about like having like somebody else's fruit as my desktop picture. Does anybody else get like that? Or like who's, 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 whose underwear are those? And why are they on my screen? This is also something where you can buy things but to like have primers again. So if something you wanted to keep clean was your makeup, you buy a new makeup organizer and it makes you keep it a little bit cleaner. If you wanted to always make sure you dust, you buy a duster. A duster? Am I that disgusting? I don't know what that's called. If you wanted to keep your car cleaner, you buy Clorox wipes. If you wanted to do your skincare more, you buy new skincare. Just like those things as primers to make you want to do it. Now, what I need to clean is this junk drawer. I tend to cl like deep clean things pretty often because I let them get disgustingly messy and then I deep clean. I'm not somebody who just keeps it nice. I like to destroy and fix later. One thing I never go through though is this junk drawer. Documents, I think my like birth certificate's in here. Um, things that can't be thrown away and then I get nervous and I don't throw any of them away. I wanted to touch base on these primers more because I think that they're honestly what's gonna like change you forming these habits. You might have tried habits like a hundred times and they just never work. It can be things you wanna stop doing. You always hate your vape. <laughs> I don't have a vape, but 
if you have a vape and you want to quit vaping make yourself like go put it in a drawer in the morning and you don't have it like right next to your bed so the first thing you do is grab it in your bed put it in you know just a place that's a little bit harder to reach you can add locks to things even me having the locks on my instagram and tiktok i can only go on for 15 minutes a day having that lock that just tells you hey it's been 15 minutes like get off it it does something to your brain where you're like okay like it's telling me to get off you can't just like mindlessly be on and forget how long you've spent and you feel kind of guilty typing in your code and being like okay one more minute and then even having friends to keep you hold you accountable sometimes keeping my room clean means inviting friends over to hang out because I'll clean my room for them when they come like I will vacuum I will dust I will do the whole nine yards and those kind of things can hold you accountable but this drawer I don't know somebody give me a tip of what can hold me accountable to keep this drawer Clean. That honestly took literally 10 minutes. Is my whole room clean? No, but going section by section is more fulfilling. You can take the time to really look through everything. What is next on our list? We did a clean out. Now it's time for a digital clean out. So for this, you got to delete old photos, notes, screenshots, recently deleted, just trying to clean up space for your iPhone for new memory. You can also, if you like are low on storage, you can delete your TikTok drafts or the cache it's called on um, like Snapchat. I don't have that anymore, but Snapchat used to take up so much of my storage and I ended up deleting the whole app. This could be your year to delete Snapchat. It's time, people. I know you guys are mostly my age. No more Snapchat. But think of apps that really did not benefit you at all throughout last year. Um, don't think of all time because Snapchat used to be a lot of fun for me too. When I would think about just it was doing more harm than helping me the year I decided to delete it. So just go through all your apps and think about that. You can also do like purges of unfollowing people who don't make you feel good or better things for yourself. Um, if you're following a bunch of models that make you feel crappy unfollow them they won't care delete or block numbers of poo poo people the way i block like it's nobody's business now i'm not a victoria paris blocker like she does on tiktok honestly one day i hope to get there nothing's wrong with blocking people normalize blocking 2022 so the thing is with all of these i do these daily so <laughs> i i don't feel the need to really go through and do it but if you need to there's that Okay, and the last thing that a lot of these it girls were saying to do is have like an end of the year 2021 journal prompt. This doesn't sound fun to me. And sometimes I'm all about just doing what sounds fun. Like, I'm never going to be somebody who makes my bed, I don't think, until my bedroom isn't my only room. If you guys didn't know, I still live with my parents. Um, my bed will not be made. Ernie likes it too much unmade. 2022 journal prompts. New year end of the year journal prompts. I'm looking it on Pinterest. End of the year or like new year journal prompts. 30 end of the year journal prompts. Oh, these are cute. Okay, let's do these. I'm nervous. <laughs> what if I start crying? And that's it for how to make 2022 your best year yet. Thank you again to Ritual for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check out the link in the description box for 10% off your first three months of your Ritual Vitamins. Thank you guys for watching this video and spending 2021 with me. I can't wait to spend 2022 with all of you. I, I love making videos and I'm really happy with how my channel is going and the community we're creating and just how my overall life is going. So it's fun to do these kind of videos and you know, like just play into all this prep and New Year's um, idea. I know it, it really doesn't mean anything, but you know, it's fun. Um, let me know what your favorite things to reset for the new year are and how you are becoming that girl. That girl can mean a lot of different things. That girl is my dad. That's it. I love you guys so much. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. And I will see you in a few days. Bye.